it is the last day of this month and today is blue beanie day a day that celebrates web standards following web standards is sure that the internet works equally for everyone regardless of their location or technology today is a day for promoting internet equality and the root of the matter on cloud nine to be on cloud nine means to be in a state of pleasant euphoria before cloud nine there was a cloud seven which likely sprang from the phrase seventh heaven judaism hinduism islam and catholicism all have a seventh heaven which is the level considered to house the throne of god to be on cloud seven was to achieve this blessed height no one knows exactly when cloud seven changed to cloud nine but in the 1960s and then in the 1980s musicians use this phrase to title their music albums oh wow and here's a riddle me this what kind of coat is always wet when you put it on let's see what the answer is <laughs> okay that makes sense a coat of paint i hope you guessed it okay and on golden memories on this day 50 years ago the movie brian's song about chicago bears teammates brian piccolo and gail sayers premiered on abc piccolo and sayers were the first interracial roommates in nfl history and their unlikely friendship turned brian's song into one of the most successful telefilms ever made it was so beloved that it made the jump from television to the big screen and it consistently ranks among the greatest guy cry movies and sports movies ever made it won several awards including five emmys and a peabody i don't remember ever watching that movie but maybe you did and on this date 18 87 the first softball game was played in chicago illinois at the time the game was called indoor baseball players used a broomstick for a bat and a boxing glove for a ball imagine that and in 1954 in silicaga alabama mrs hewlett hodges was resting on her sofa when a nine pound meteorite crashed through the roof struck her radio and grazed her hip leaving a severe bruise the incident is the only confirmed case of a person being hit by a meteorite <laughs> wow wow i can't even imagine that sitting on your couch and then a meteorite hitting you that's pretty crazy but it happened and for the daily trivia, when traveling in, in Poland, local custom dictates that guests should be offered generous amounts of food. And declining the offer is considered discourteous. Ooh. Yet, it is also seen as rude when visitors grab food without being encouraged. To be safe, guests should follow the lead of the host or Nukak, I don't know how you pronounce this word, it's N-U-K-A-C, the one who urges. And for the quote of the day, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Mark Twain said that, and today happens to be Mark Twain's birthday. He was born in 1835 and passed away in 1910 who was born Samuel Langhorne Clemens in Florida, Missouri, was a novelist, humorist, journalist, publisher, and lecturer, one of the most celebrated American writers of all time. Twain created captivating characters and stories that continue to resonate today. Writer William Faulkner nicknamed him the father of American literature, best known for The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Twain also wrote popular travel narratives such as The Innocents Abroad and hilarious short stories like The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras Country. 
and for the special days because every day we have a special day today on the 30th we have happy birthday anniversary americans america's oldest teenager richard wagstaff dick clark was born on this day in 1929 wow <laughs> Richard Wagstaff Dick Clark. Wow, so that's his name. I didn't know that. Well, now you know. We learn something new every day. And we also have Jacksonville join the NFL on this day in 1993. Jacksonville, Florida was awarded the 30th franchise of the National Football League. This was something of a surprise since Jacksonville was one of the league's smallest cities. However, its addition was strategically chosen to strengthen the NFL's presence in the Southeast. Oh, sorry. And it says, how many of the 32 NFL teams can you name? Oh my God, and I played that game. I didn't know very many of them, but I did know some because of my friends. And we have Notable Quotable Day. Celebrate the birth anniversary of Samuel Clemens, 1835, and passed away in 1910 one of the most quotable writers ever another notable quotable day winston leonard spencer churchill many of you know him the british leader who guided great britons through the crisis of world war ii was born at blenheim palace in oxfordshire england on this day in 1874 we also have Mason Jar Day. Oh, celebrated Mason Jar Day with us. Start out by decorating a Mason Jar, which we did actually this month. And lastly, we have Biscuit Cutter Day. On this day in 1875, a U.S. patent was issued to Alexander P. Osborne for his new invention, a biscuit cutter, the handy tool which can be used for cutting cookies, Fondant and clay as well can be found at many stores for under a dollar. Well, that was the Daily Chronicles and the special days. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you soon next month. So let's say goodbye to November and hello December. Bye-bye.